downtown near the Roosevelt Bay. Spanish television up through the floor. Desk clerk don't look up when I walk by anymore. Blizzard outside.
Hi. Hi. Sorry, I forgot to switch it over to the here up at the top. Yeah, where the we are. yeah, you see, you can see it. Hey, late night people. We're in Nashville, and uh, apparently, we have made it through the final presidential debate here in the United States of America, which was held here in Nashville. And um, Jamie and I drove over there around 6.30 tonight just to see the circus, and it was there all right. <laughs> and uh, it was interesting because the, um, the Trump supporters and the Biden supporters were all mixed in together. Mm -hmm. And so there were people singing... Which side are you on? Which side are Which you side on? Are you on? Like beating drums, like. And yeah, and there were other people right next to the liberals singing <laughs> "Which side are you on?" Saying uh, Trump twenty twenty, Trump four twenty twenty, years. four more years, and and somehow. Uh, and there was one guy walking down the street dressed like a banana for whatever cause that was for. Because that's <laughs> politics. <laughs> you got to have your banana person. <laughs> yeah. Somehow it all entered twine and intertangled without violence and that's a really good thing um i know it's a heated election but uh, uh there was uh no no violence that i know of even though it was in a small area and everybody was on top of each other uh, and the cops were standing way back letting people protest or whatever what are, they weren't even protesting what were they doing i don't know i don't know either they're just standing out Outside supporting, supporting, uh, expressing their free speech. <laughs> there's one guy. Uh, would you, you you were able uh, to hear, but there was a guy walking around with a boombox on his shoulder, too. Did you say he like? He'd, oh like, yeah, he, he had written a country song called um, "What Is It?" Just something about Trump. Trump derangement syndrome. Uh, two conservative country songwriters that were trapped forever in the '80s, I guess with a boom box the size of Texas, playing their song, walking around on the boom box so everybody could hear their song. That's funny. It's Nashville. It's a circus. That's <laughs> funny. Uh, and um, it's over. And uh, so, uh, I don't know. We. You know, it's funny. I love that there's like a Smoothie King on the corner. So you saw everyone walking around, no matter if they had a Biden sign or a Trump sign, they're all enjoying their smoothies. Smoothie King, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Around. <laughs> surreal. It was surreal, but it's uh, it's over, and uh, now we vote. Of course, we already voted. Yeah, we voted last week, and um, it was a two-hour and ten-minute wait to get to the poll, and uh, and that was at a sleepy little precinct where I'd never seen a line before. I've been here 20 years, voting there for 20 years. Never been a line. Maybe ten people, you know, which I don't even think of that as a line. After Boston, you know, uh, oh, yeah. ten people's not a line. But it's a two-hour and ten-minute wait, and every time we drive by that sleepy little precinct since then, there's a line, a big line. At least an hour usually looks like at least a two-hour line. So people are voting, and that's good. And this, uh, uh, this season of... Uh, of elections is coming to a close soon, and that's good too. I hope we get, uh, I hope we get, we get a period at the end of this sentence sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm.
people for just a moment. I had an idea. You gonna play a cover song? Isn't that weird? But I, I kind of want to. Is that okay? Play whatever you want, Jamie Harris. I was thinking about, um, I just really don't want to get this wrong, so, of course. It's what do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking about playing this Towns Van Zant song that I really like, but I'm afraid I just wanted to make sure I absolutely get it right because when you get off on a town song, you can't come back. It just, there's something that happens. And, uh, um, maybe I won't do this. Let me see if I can get it to do this. Well, I think about, you know, in 2016, I had, I had this friend of mine named Chris Porter who was a, um, a total trip. He was a musician and, uh, um, a, he was a funny guy and he was just a, he was a great guy. And, um, I'll never forget the night that I first met him because, um, it was the same day I met my friend Bonnie Whitmore and we were hanging out at the Continental Club, Bonnie and I were, and we we're sitting in the back and talking. And then, um, I went to get a Topo Chico and this very tall, skinny man started talking to me. And I can't remember exactly what he was saying, but I remember him being so funny that I was laughing so hard. And, and I came up to Bonnie and said, man, I just met the funniest guy. And she said, 
I was like, that guy over there, she's like, Porter? I was like, yeah, she goes, I just broke up with him like two days ago. I was like, oh, wow. So I didn't know they, they've been a couple for a long time and remained really, really, really good friends. And um, and he was a trip and he worked for Calton Cases, you know, which um, are these great cases that um, stand up. Uh, you can pretty much run over them with a car and they will stand up. And uh, I'd had some fly dates and he barely knew me, but he let me borrow his case. And so every once in a while I borrow his case and we meet up and we kind of became friends that way and um, he died on the road uh, four years ago he was in a on I-95 in North Carolina and he was stopped and um, they were in a little bus but an 18-wheeler who had not slept um, through the night didn't see that there was traffic stopped ahead and so he just ran into him and uh, uh, two two of the guys passed away Porter and a guitar player named Mitchell um, and the drummer survived and uh, is still making great music, but um, for some reason, one of the verses in this song makes me think of Porter, and uh, shortly after he passed, I played it a lot um, for him, so I'll do this. you babe when I do you wrong living's mostly wasting time and how we smash every man but it never feels too good so let's not take too long but you're soft as glass and I'm a gin
Thank you. That's kind of weird to start out that way, I guess, but I just had this strong, strong pull. Not Thank weird at all. Thinking of pull. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, sure. I played two, you play two. Oh, okay, sure. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, I've never seen you stay up. I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen you stay up this late. It wasn't <laughs> the plan. Don't be mad. Kind of Halloween-y song. Will you sing with me? You really need a drum kit. You need a Karen Carpenter you up. There was a darkness in that house I felt it. Chill my boat, saw your mother at the kitchen table Just sitting there Arms crossed I did a line I did a line To make it through the night I did a line I did a line To suppress my
awesome. Thank you. Thanks for singing with me. Oh my god. I don't even know why I bother. It's so fun. That's why I bother. <laughs> oh, your vocals are so powerful. Really, I'm just in awe of the power in your voice. It's just astonishing. You know what I was astonished by, speaking of the power of voice, is the first time, the first time, the only time I got to be in the room with Amy Lou Harris. Like, yeah, it's like singing with a fog. Horn. Even when she's like doing all the stuff that you think is really quiet, it's not. It's like I was like, oh, you know, it made me want to like sing out more in a way that I was like, yeah, I didn't know she was singing that loud the whole time. She sings very like, loud. It was so weird to like think that there's probably no voice I have listened to more. As a lead singer, as a background singer, I mean, I just obviously am obsessed with Amy Lou Harris. I love her voice so much. And to think that I knew it, and I had no idea. You didn't know that she sang loud? I mean, I mean I'd mean, i seen her on, I mean, it's hard to tell unless you're in the room hearing how she sings organically. And it's like, wow. She's got a lot of power in that voice. It's unbelievable. And so empowering to hear it, too. Like, just, she blows my mind. She's. She's a powerhouse. You're a powerhouse. I'm a songwriter. You're a powerhouse. <laughs> All right. I can't sing like that. I don't have it. Well, my brain doesn't work like yours. <laughs> oh. Hey, my. Good to see you. I mean, we don't see you, but I see your comment. <laughs> uh, I always think of that time we were checking into that same hotel in New York City at the same time. And you were going there to write, and I was... I don't remember what I've gone there for. It was a good hotel, um, right on the river, one block over or something like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I play a new song, I think. Highway 90 West Bank. In the falling dark Rolling past cornfields Catfish farms and swamps A Pascagoula sunset A longing breaking Don't know why I'm always leaving Don't know why I left you Won't you meet me in the meadow We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind Dream again, find out who we are. Won't you meet me in the meadow? No more alone. We can lay down in the grass till the feelings pass, then go home. I have so much to tell you Babe, I'm ready to come clean I am so tired of running From things I cannot leave You and me in Mississippi Battered, beautiful, and scarred We're all in need of forgiveness And the awful grace of God Won't you meet me in the meadow We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind Dream again Find out who we are Won't you 
Let's lay down in the grass until the feelings pass. Then go home. Let's lay down in the grass till the feelings pass. Then go home. The grasses are swaying, the sun's going down, the music's playing, you're weaving through town, pulled into the driveway, toss it and fall. to the world it was all for the love of a reckless girl who left you with a second place smile and a broken heart and the street lights are starting to flicker the light they glow for a minute then they get bright, fireflies light up, circle and spark. But there's nothing really that you can do. Put your hands in your pockets, try to get through the distance. porch flies lie themselves down like forgotten soldiers or old wedding gowns in closets unopened and grapes without any more as the night's curtains lower and the rooftops shadows dance across the 
Jamie, guitar, <laughs> Harris. <laughs> you take a lot of direction from those Willie Nelson and Lindsey Buckingham one-note solos. One-note <laughs> solos. <laughs> Thank you. Just fine Thank with you, me. Willie and Lindsey, for the permission. Freedom. Permission. That's really more like the, the more accurate word. Yeah. That's right. Permission. Permission to pursue this at the end. Hi, Eleanor Whitmore. I see our friend Eleanor Whitmore is here. Um, <laughs> instead of battling MailChimp, we totally understand. We have been battling been MailChimp. been at war with MailChimp. For two weeks. No, it's four weeks. Oh, is it four weeks? Oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah. Um, I think I'm going <laughs> to... I think I'm gonna actually start crying on air, like thinking about if I think about it. Technology's but. crushing us. Yeah. <sighs> well, since it's late night, I love this late, late night. Oh, is that vibe. Sam's? No, I wasn't gonna play Sam's. What I was gonna you play the song that we wrote together. Oh, cool. Let's play that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought. Um, yeah, I've been playing this very often live, but. Um... Little known fact: When Jamie and I try to write a song together, it just doesn't really work. Well, it worked in this. Well, we got trapped in a really bad, catastrophic traffic mm -hmm. jam where there was a major wreck several miles ahead of us in uh, New Mexico, and no cars were moving in either direction, and we saw the medical helicopters coming in. It was ours. So we were able to write peacefully in the car. <laughs> I guess next time we'll just need to get in the car and like drive till we hit traffic till in we Memphis, find a or, wreck, something. Yeah. Memphis yeah. or something. Memphis or something. But yeah. I do kind of imagine that that this song, that uh, at least, I kind of imagine that this song would would be kind of occurring uh, in this type of hour, midnight ish. Late night phone late calls. Late night phone calls. Late night desperation phone calls. Late night worried ping pong thoughts going on in your brain. All yeah, of it. this is a beautiful song. Thanks for bringing me in on. Thank you. And we're gonna try. Was it Monday? We have a writing date. We do. If you're still going to keep that. Keep <laughs> trying.
sits on the couch they bought together right after he gave Every night he gets a bottle, puts it away right before bed. Sometimes he calls me and says, darling, there must be monsters in my Sometimes I think that I can love you, but then again it feels too soon. I know he's lonely and he's hurting, but everybody's got such different people the night we sang under the moon sometimes I think that I can love him but then again it Another one? Sure. Thank you. Good job on that song. I mean, I like, I made a little demo of that, you know, in the studio. It sounds, I think it sounds pretty cool. It's really, it's kind of like, has a hip hop beat, which I didn't see coming, but I think it kind of works, works out pretty cool. Can't wait, I can't wait to share that song with everyone. 
in the in the world. That song does so many things. It can be it can be uh, I don't know set up in a bunch of different ways. But anyways, um, I'll play a song I wrote with my friend Graham Weber. And uh, sorry, did I just <laughs> scream at you? Yes. Sorry. This, Volume. I'm sorry. Is, <laughs> she has such you a want, booming you voice. You want to live with a singer or not? Eleanor, wow. back me up here. <laughs> Volume, please. Ooh. Anyways, this is a song I wrote with my <laughs> friend, Graham Weber, and it's night time. He's making be soft. It's all right. He's making a record, and he just sent me the track to sing on it, so I'll do that <laughs> now. I mean, soon, not right now, but I'm excited that he's putting this on his record. I love this song. This is a different song, maybe. It's a different song? Yeah. Do I, do I know this song? Yeah. Then how do you know I don't love it? I don't know. <laughs> well, springtime came a-calling, I began to fall in, fall in straight for you. In the midst of April showers, lying in the wild flowers, I felt your blue heart bloom. Guess I knew then that I loved you. Guessing now that I still do. If there ever come a change for what you feel, Tell me, darling, I'll be true. Well, summer brought its heat. I stayed tangled in your sheets till it came time to see. We spoke from different cities You told me that you missed me And between your highway dreams Guess I knew then that I loved you Guessing now that I still do If there ever come a change for what you feel Tell me, darling, I'll be true. The autumn wind blew cold in the love that you want to show. you why you were too scared to try and the whole thing came unwound even then I knew I loved you guessing now that I still do if there ever come a change for what you feel tell me darling That was the first song Graham and I ever wrote together. That's a very sweet song. 
guys write love songs together. I guess we have, sort of. I think Grandma's more of a romantic than I am. Like he has like a, he has like, a, like language, like romantic language maybe. But that song, I had half of it and he just put the other half in like a puzzle. It was really cool. I, it's, it was so, I forgot what he wrote and what I wrote at this point. It was one of those like, it just kind of, I could go back through my years of text messages, but we wrote it on text kind of. Like I was like, I have half of this song and a little demo of it, but I don't really know what the other half is. And he was like, well, I'll try. And then he sent it back and I was like, that looks about perfect. And then we spent three years going one verse is so not right. And then it took us a long time to get together and the pandemic happened and we zoomed and figured it out and finished that other song that you liked. Yeah, I like the, I like the Weber Harris com yeah. combo. It's good songs. He's a really good writer. Yeah, y'all have good song chemistry. That's that's a treasure, you know. It's hard to find. I'm that. learning that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was so afraid of co-writing for a really long time. Uh, justifiably so. Unjustifiably so, I guess. Yeah. 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 Well, when you find your people, it's it's a lot easier. You know, once I once I got Ben. Yeah, I was just saying you and Ben. Yeah. Yeah, me and Ben have have that. It's just the chemistry. You know, the Me and Graham have it. It's good to have that with somebody. Then when you have yeah. a couple of folks, then it's really good. All right, how does this go? I'll think about it. The joy inside your lack I'll think about your hand inside mine I'll think about the sweetness of your soft skin As I try not to think about time, I think about my arms wrapped all around you. I think. kindness in your eyes I'll think about how you showed up on my doorstep when I was trying not to think about time So many roads, so many towns between us, so many nights, so many stairs to climb, so many thoughts to think. I miss you And I try Not to think About
think about your candlestick fingers on my skin. I'll think about the shiver in your side. I'll think about how much I want to kiss you as I try not to think about time. So many roads, so many. Between us, so many nights, so many stairs to climb, so many thoughts to think. Is that me? Do they about time? It's so hard <laughs> not to think about Accidental pandemic anthem. <laughs> it's so it is hard. a little pandemic y. <laughs> did I play two or did I just play no, one? No, you just played one. Mm, it's the witching hour. Gaucher's losing his mind. How about I play one more and you play two more and then we call it? What do you think? Sure. I got to be on television tomorrow at 9 a.m. You also stayed up late watching a movie last night. Oh, yeah. A great movie. Mm -hmm. Chicago 7. Oh, my gosh. It was so mm, good. Sasha Baron Cohen. It was really, really good. I want to see it again. Yeah. Really fast moving. Really brilliantly edited. It was fast moving. If you didn't know the story of the, of the catastrophic Democratic Convention in Chicago... It was 68, wasn't it? 68, 69. Uh, it's kind of hard to follow. You got to know a little bit of that history. I didn't know any of that history, which I thought, which actually, I don't know how. Why did I not know any of that? First of all, I'm kind of mad about that. Like, how was that never, I never was, I don't know. I just, for some reason, that whole incident, the whole story, never got into my knowledge pool. It just, I don't know why. I never heard about it. And, or read about it, or saw anything about it. It just never happened. So I thought it was interesting because I didn't exactly know what was coming, because um, they kind of flash back in time, right? It's like they, you know, the, it kind of starts out at the trial, but they're going back and showing what happened in Chicago, right, P years prior. Yeah, and it so was really because brilliantly I shot because they would do recreations oh. with the characters in the movie and then it would it would slide into actual footage of the right of yes. the cops attacking the um, protesters uh, it was be it's, it's the just the sequence of it just is go so to brilliant. Netflix and watch it when yeah, you can yeah it's so brilliant of course it's brilliant Sasha Baron Cohen would be nothing but brilliant uh, I can't imagine him and the whole cast is so great and yeah. I had to go it was one of those movies where everyone is so you're like, I swear I know all of these people, but I can't figure out where from. And then when you look it up, you're like, what? That was that guy? I don't know. I just I had everything yeah, I like. Cause yeah. I, I love about a movie. Yeah, it was really, really good. Sasha plays um, uh, Abby Hoffman.
awful lot of us are dealing with grief right now. I sure am. It's been a lot of loss. Started with my friend Ralph Murphy. And then in January, we lost David Olney. John Prine. Then we lost Justin last month, was it? A month before. And then I had a, a shock at the beginning of this month. My hiking best buddy. healthiest person I know. Gone. This is a song I think about. Grief. Love. May eternity hold May a soft wind enfold you as you travel distant lands. May the moon and stars delight you as the daylight dims. Till the morning sun warms your face till I see you again May you lay down your struggles beneath the silver sky May a summer rain inside your dreams sing you lullabies. May there be no more sorrow. May there be no more pain. May you sleep inside the stillness of the night till I see you again May you never be a stranger May you never feel alone May you reunite with family and friends May they walk you home May love embrace you in a dance that never ends May you rest in gentle arms Till I see you again May you rest in gentle arms Till I see you Beautiful. Love that guitar part, Jamie. Love that song.
fun. Thanks, Eileen. Appreciate that. An awful lot of folks are dealing with grief and loss right now. I sure ain't I sure not alone in that. Play something for us, Harris. What you feeling? Love is gonna come again Maybe when you're not quite looking Maybe tonight, my friend Maybe when you're driving Love will call and you will fall Into a place you never thought you could fit in Love is gonna come again No, you don't believe me yet Stuck inside your head Wonder what you could have said In that bed Love will find you And remind you of the things You thought you'd give up feeling Love is gonna come again I know it hurts Joy will find its way to you Maybe it'll come with the morning dew Right where those flowers grew Butterflies flew And on their wings They always bring the kind of peace To ease your grieving Love is gonna come I love that song. Thank you. That's another <laughs> song I wrote with grandmother. Harris and Weber Productions. <laughs> <laughs> I should call them up for some Zoom. Do another Zoom. one. Do another one. <laughs> Zoom rights. Yeah. Thank y'all for jumping on to the stream. We watched the um, the debate, and uh, we're about two miles here in Nashville from where it happened, and uh, I don't know what. I'm just glad we get we get to we get to get to the other side of this now soon, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll go the way I want it to go, and uh, we'll move on and try to repair the damage that's been done. 
a lot of people are hurting, a lot of people are struggling. There's an awful lot of things that need repairing. Um, but I know that there's a lot of, a lot of good, good, good people out there who are going to step up and do what needs to be done. And, uh, you know, what needs to be done is kindness, empathy, compassion, consideration. Um, we need to temper the forces of darkness and greed and anger and hate and find our way back to each other. Uh, as songwriters and artists, I think we can be part of that. That's our job. Yeah. Yeah. You got one more for us? You want to want to close it out? Did you have something in mind to share? Um, play the song you wrote in Terlingual. Okay. Thank y'all for hopping on. We'll be back be back Sunday at two o'clock Central Time with uh, my sweet friend Amy Helm. Uh, I think. Has yeah, Amy Helm. Yeah. Yeah, Amy, right? Yep, they gave me the keys to her Facebook page, so I know she'll be there. We can we can all tune in on her Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amy and uh, and then Gretchen Peters after that, Gretchen. and then Betty, my my good friend Betty Sue after that. Betty Sue, and then Ray Wiley Hubbard. Ray Wiley Hubbard, and then we just booked since you guys were the late night crew, the dedicated crowd. You're the first to know <laughs> Max Gomez for the week after. Max Gomez, and he is wonderful. He's so sweet. The last time I saw him, it was probably 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. We were in New Orleans at the Folk Alliance Conference, which is a, a place where they stick about, what, 2,000, 3,000 folk singers? In a, into one hotel. Into one hotel. It's crazy. And we stayed up playing John Prine songs. With Max? With Max, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's delightful. He's delightful. All right. Yeah, this is a definitely a good... A good night song. This is a good night song. Y'all sleep well, those of you in time zones where it's time to go to bed. I see somebody is on from South Africa who's just gotten up and is on their way to work. This is such a cool uh, medium that we get to reach out to the whole world and broadcast globally. This is really, really cool. What time is it in Australia right now? Do you know? Is it 12 like hours 12 ahead. Hours ahead? You do the math. That's not my world. Well, I was trying. My where my brain was going was, could we have Casey? It's twenty four o'clock. Yeah, my thought was, like, could we have Casey Chambers on this show? And then I realized it's two a.m. There, right? Is that yeah, right? Two o'clock would be. Wait, is that twelve ask? hours? Australia, just home. Uh, we could reach out to Casey and see what she's doing. I think she's laying low, take, being with the kids. Seems like it. Yeah. 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 She's so cool. She's the coolest. Four thirty. <laughs> Thank you for your accurate <laughs> answer. <laughs> I can't do math, then I can't do... 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m. Okay, gotcha. All right. Tonight the moon is colored black Oh, the smoker's tea I know Sounds crazy, but it almost seems in reach. Kind of like
I never told you exactly how I feel But tonight the stars are sparkling o'er the desert while she sleeps He has stayed awake to watch him shine The mountains, they keep quiet as the morning breaks the cold. I won't think about it as I travel down this road. Kind of like you. Good night, everybody. We'll see you Sunday, I hope. Two o'clock Central Time. We'll be here with Amy Helm and Michele Gazic from Italy. We'll be checking in, playing a song. If I know him, he's going to show up with the Levon Helm song because he knows how to tie it in. But we'll see. He hasn't told me what he's going to play yet. Um, so, uh, sending love to all y'all. Hey, Andrea. I love that song, too. I think that's a beautiful song. Jamie's got... I got it. ...a new record, right? She's ready to make it. And, Andrew, I'll tell you where you can find that song right now, actually. Yeah. Yeah, thank y'all. <laughs> 